Greetings everybody, my name is Heather and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about March releases to look out for. Yay! Uh, some of you guys really liked my February book releases video, so I'm doing one for March! Woo! So let's get started! <laughs> The first book that you guys should look out for is called Burning Glass, and that is coming out March 1st. So basically, this book is Red Queen meets Shadow and Bone. I have read Red Queen, but I have not read Shadow and Bone, so if both of those intrigue you, uh, then this is a book to look out for. It's basically about a girl who has this power to sense other people's feelings and absorb them. So I guess she's hired to guard this emperor, this new emperor, and he's got this like mysterious brother who's the crown prince or whatever. So there's going to be like possibly a love triangle and romance. It's a debut fantasy. You got some magic. You've got this girl with powers, so pretty typical young adult fantasy novel. So um, I'm kind of intrigued about it, so I might get it for myself. If any of you end up getting it, please let me know what you thought of it. Um, but otherwise, let's, oh, ooh, author, 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 author is Catherine Perdue, not Perdue, <laughs> Catherine Purdy. Next book is also coming out, uh, I've got something on my mouth. Next book is called A Study in Charlotte, and that is coming out also on March 1st. And this is by Brittany Cavallaro. Okay, so I guess it's gonna be a new trilogy about a brilliant new crime-solving duo, the teen descendants of Sherlock Holmes and John Watson. So that seems pretty cool to me. So this book follows Charlotte Holmes, who's obviously the descendant of Sherlock Holmes, and Jamie Watson, who is obviously a descendant of John Watson, and they tend to keep their distance from each other, but a student who they both have a history with um, dies under very suspicious circumstances. They team up and decide to solve the crime together. Another book to look out for is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Um, I have not read any Cassandra Clare, but I really do want to read The Mortal Instruments and also especially The Infernal Devices. So this is a new series by Cassandra Clare, which which is in the Shadow Hunters world, but it's going to be called The Dark Artifices, starting with Lady Midnight. So I don't know anything about it, but it's probably going to be about Shadow Hunters. So if you've read any of those books, you might already know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to throw it in there for any of you Shadow Hunter fans. Oh, Lady Midnight is coming out on March 8th. Another book coming out March 8th is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. It follows a girl who's a very gifted gunslinger. It seems like it's gonna, it seems like it's gonna be a very old western kind of vibe, but with magic and genies. The next book is called The Great Hunt, and that is coming out March 8th as well. So The Great Hunt is written by Wendy Higgins. So the Great Hunt is going to be a new fairy tale retelling, but it's a Brothers Grimm fairy tale. We've got a princess who wants to save her kingdom and sexy men, probably. So a horrible beast attacks the kingdom and the king sends out the best and bravest of hunters to kill the beast and whoever actually kills the beast gets to win his daughter's hand in marriage. So, But of course the daughter doesn't like this, so... There's that. Um, kind of has a brave vibe in my head. I, I see it, especially when you look at the cover, because you've got the, the girl with like the super curly red hair. The next book to look out for in March is called Wink Poppy Midnight, and that's coming out March 22nd, and is written by April Genevieve Tuchok. I'm so butchering that last name. So anyway, this book follows girl named Wink, another girl named Poppy, and a guy named Midnight, and so there's like a love triangle, but it's a young adult mystery, and it seems like it's going to be sort of like We Were Liars, if you've read that by E. Lockhart, um, where something happens and the whole book you're trying to kind of figure out what happened. So it might have an unreliable narrator, we shall see, but this one seems really intriguing to me. The next one is The Raven King coming out March 29th. So this is the fourth and I believe the final installment of the Raven Boys 
series, um, which I have not read any of those books, but I really, really want to. Um, every time I ever hear about the Raven Boys, I never hear what it's about. Um, I just know that it's a group of boys, and then there's also a girl there, and it's, it's sort of fantasy, but no one's ever really explained it very well. So, and I think that's maybe the point is you're supposed to go into not really knowing much about it, but a lot of people like it, and I know this book um, has been highly anticipated by fans of the Raven Boys. So just want to let you guys know if you're one of those people, it's coming out very soon. And the final book to look out for in March is The Winner's Kiss, and that is coming out also March 29th. This is the final book in The Winner's Curse Trilogy. Oh, it's just called The Winner's Trilogy by Marie Rutkowski. I don't know anything about this book series. But the covers are really pretty! I'm actually planning on picking up these books and hopefully they're not too long because I just want to like fly through them. That is it for the March book releases of 2016. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like me, um, you can subscribe to me if you want. Um, I also have an Instagram, which is at Heather Forever Books, the same as my channel name. And I have a bookish Tumblr, which is also at Heather Forever Books. So, well, it's not at. Well, I guess it could be. Whatever, social media. Ah. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.